Greetings, true believers. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another pop review. Today, I'll be taking a look at the pop Thor Love and Thunder number 1043, Gore the God Butcher, made by Funko. Ah, uh, yes. Take a look at the box. Just the usual Funko Pop box with the Thor Love and Thunder style right there. You can see the window exposing the pop. On the side, you get the full image of the pop. On the back, there's other characters from Thor Love and Thunder Wave. So that's about it. Let's take out Gore the God Butcher out of the box. Here is Gore the God Butcher out of the box. So let's take a closer look at the pop here. Take a look at the head sculpt right here. I gotta admit, Funko did really a great job with his head sculpt. Very well liked his character from the, from the film. You can see a bunch of scars all over his um, his eyes and his um, on the back there. Same thing on the forehead and everywhere. Yeah, it's it's really quite missing. It's like the um, it's the tattoo linings on the eyes there. So yeah, it is quite missing. Yeah, Funko forgot to add that at those unless they're trying to be lazy about it. But still, a really a not too bad looking head sculpt, I would say. And take a look at his um, outfit here, the whole body. You can see he is wearing his robe there. You can see some of the wrinkles sculpting on there. And you get to look at the hands here. You can see one hand doing like an exaggerating, scary hand with some painted nails. On the other hand, you get the sword that he executes gods in the movie. Yeah. Very scary looking dude, am I right? You get like the little robe here and uh, and everywhere. There's like a, a bit of shading yellow on the um, the pop here. The sword here looks really not too bad at all. Very well sculpted. And you can see that his feet there with the little toes. Sculpted on there, not bad looking toes. And you get this effect here, which is a say it's a really not too bad looking effect. It looks really good. It looks good at all. And on the bottom there is some legal ease and that's about it. And there's like a little hole here that you can see his legs and everywhere. Yeah. Overall for the pop itself, I say Funko did a really a great job with this pop. Despite that, there's some like missing like tattoo lines on the eyes area there. So yeah, Funko needs to add that. Well, I'm pretty sure they added like in the upcoming specialty series version of a Court of God Butcher, which I'm probably still gonna get very soon. But overall, for the pop itself, the common version, I say Funko did a really a great job with this. And I do recommend getting this pop anywhere else, like Walmart, Target, or anywhere else. So yeah, do like this pop, and I do recommend getting this pop for your MCU collection or your Marvel collection. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please consider like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel, and follow me on Instagram. Instagram and Twitter, both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the Pop Thor Love and Thunder number 1043 Gord God Butcher Pop made by Funko. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.